My friends, today I have the largest, most powerful portable power station solar generator that I have ever reviewed. It is the AFRI P310. It has an amazing 3,800 watt hours of stored energy and can output an impressive 3,600 watts of power. So powerful that you could actually hook this up to a critical loads panel and run your entire house during a temporary outage for like a storm event. So because of that, I'm going to do a different video. I'm not going to do the standard just review video. What I'm going to do is I am going to hook this up using this to my system here. Now, it's off grid, so I'm not worried about storms. I'm not worried about the grid being down. I have a self contained system here, but it's a good sized system and I have a load center. So, can this AFRI P310 run my entire system here? That's what I want to test today. Now at the end, I'll go over all the specs and everything, but I really want to jump into this and see, can it do that? And is it powerful enough that it could replace my entire DIY setup? Stay tuned, hang out. We're going to have a lot of fun today. So the first step that I had to do, of course, was to wire in this outlet. I did film it, but I'm not going to go over the steps of doing that for several reasons. First of all, I'm not a qualified electrician. Second, this is an off-grid system and I did this a little bit differently. If you're going to do this, you really need to have a genlock on your um, main here so it doesn't backfeed your grid. And since I'm not grid tied, I don't care about that. Also, because my off-grid system is split phase and the AFRI P310 only does 120, I had to move all of my circuits to be on one leg so they can be fed by the 120. So there's just some things that I had to do just for this that are not worth showing. But this is the same general concept. Just think of this as a critical loads panel. So if you're at your house, this would be a sub panel of critical loads that went into your main house. All right, homeowners, if you need a power station that's gonna run your critical loads in the event of a temporary power outage, this is the one to get because I just ran everything I could possibly think of. I took my solar system offline, hooked this up, using that wire like I just showed you, turned on everything I could possibly think of in my workshop and in the other buildings that this off-grid system of mine runs. So I turned on everything, lights, the freezer, well, the freezer was always on, uh, turned on an air conditioner over there, turned on an air conditioner over here, turned on a shop vac, turned on my air compressor, uh, to <laughs> use my chop saw and, and cut some four by four posts, everything I could think of. Um, and it ran all of those loads perfectly fine. So it can run your critical loads panel in the case of a temporary power outage. So if you're a homeowner looking for that, this is definitely gonna fit the bill on that. Very, very powerful output. I was very impressed with it. Speaking of impressed, their app. Let's jump into um, some of the specs now since I didn't talk about that earlier. So their app is excellent. And I've been testing some power stations lately and their apps have not been that great. This app is phenomenal. I like the design. I like that it binds to it once it finds the unit, so you don't have to keep searching for it. Uh, it shows the energy coming in, solar and AC, shows everything going out. You can turn everything on and off. There's advanced features in there, so it's a very, very powerful app. And I know some people don't like apps. If you don't like it, don't download it. That's fine. But if you need an app, this is a very good app. Speaking of good, the warranty, as you would expect, is excellent. Five year plus warranty. So AFRI is going to be there for you after you buy it. They're going to stand behind their unit. So that's very impressive. Speaking of impressive, <laughs> I should have led with this. Um, I did a capacity test before I took everything offline, charged it up, and just hooked up my space heater to it. It's about 1400 watts to do an efficiency test. 93% efficiency. <laughs> 93 percent it was like 3500 watt hours out of the 3800 watt hours uh, that it's available <laughs> impressive so that means it's going to squeeze every bit of juice out of it uh very 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 impressive um i yeah i was i was expecting good but i wasn't expecting 93 percent now while we're on the topic of capacity it does have that 3800 watt hours of capacity if you need more you can add up to two batteries external batteries so you can go up to 11,000 watt hours of stored energy right around there I'll put the exact number below because I can't remember it exactly but it's around 1100 11,000 watt hours that you can add to it so 
you can run a lot of stuff. So it is expandable. So it does have really good output and does have battery expandability. One thing I heard people talking about in other reviews was that it was um, loud. Um, I don't know what they're talking about because uh, I did my meter test and this thing was whisper quiet. Now, when I had full loads on, when I had everything going, obviously I couldn't hear this because, you know, I have saws on and, you know, compressors on. But like right now, there's a load on. It's running all of these lights in here as we speak. And it's whisper quiet. I can hear the lights buzzing above me more than I can hear this. So it is very, very, very quiet. Uh, I was impressed about that. Also, the charging was solid. The AC charging was incredibly solid. You can do AC and solar. I already talked about that, but you can do AC uh, charging. There's a dial on it where you can turn it down so it doesn't charge at that full 1500 watts. Uh, in general, lithium iron phosphate, if you charge it slower, it, it's happier. So if you're not in a rush, charge your unit slower and you just turn that dial and you can set it all the way down to, I think it's like 600, maybe even less. So you can charge your unit slower and it'll just make it last longer. So one thing that I'm always concerned about is the quality output of the signal that comes out of the unit. So I always do a sine wave test and a voltage drop test. And the sine wave on this unit under a heavy load was excellent. Very, very, very solid sine wave and no voltage loss under load. So the output is incredible. So I'll say this again. If you are a homeowner and you need a unit that will run your critical loads, this one passed the test with flying colors. So now to all my DIY solar friends out there. Uh, we need to talk because there is a very good argument to be made that this is better than this. In fact, I'm going to make that argument because I've already taken my inverter offline and this is now running my system. You can see it's plugged in right now. All of these lights in this entire room is now being run by this. So everything that this used to run, this now runs and I'm going to continue that way. I'm taking all of this stuff and I'm going to put this in another building, which is another video coming up. But that argument is a very, very strong argument. Now, the specs on this is still more. This is a 4,000 watt split phase. This is about 5,000 watt hours of battery. But this charge controller, this is a 100 volt charge controller. And this does 160 volts of, eight, of uh, solar in. So it's already close and it ran everything. And the killer is the price. This inverter alone costs what this cost. And you still got to get the charge controller. You still got to get the batteries. You still got to get all the bus bars and the fuses and the switches. And then the functionality. There's no functionality over here. There's no Bluetooth. This is all integrated. It's seamless. It's smooth. You bring up that app, you can turn everything on, off, see what's going on. It's just better. And if you try to get the components that match the functionality of this, it's even more expensive. So I'm telling you, there is a very, very strong argument to be made that DIY is dead, and that the Afri P310 has killed it. So... Just think about it. Um, if you're going to be building a DIY build, a medium-sized build, this may be the better choice. So normally when I do my summary on a video, I have the product sitting right here, kind of point to it and talk about it. But I'm not going to do that on this one because the Afri P310 is being used in my system, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, I'm not going to rehash everything I already talked about, but I'm just going to cut to the chase here. Uh, if you're a homeowner and you're looking for something that will run your critical loads in a temporary powder outage like a storm, uh, this is just the unit to get. This is by far the best unit I've ever tested of any size, whether it's a little teeny one or a big one like this. It's just a solid unit. There's features in it that I'm just forgetting about because it's so feature rich and I've been so focused on just getting it to run everything. But it's just a really nice unit. It's been a couple weeks now. I've been playing around with it. I've completely redone my entire system. So now I'm going to talk to you off-gridders again, you DIYers. I have completely replaced my system that runs all of this with the Afri P310. Now it's not a perfect union. I have a lot of batteries lying around. So I made a separate system with a small inverter on it that I can use to charge it. It's about 10,000 watt hours. 
of uh, storage. And what I'm really thinking about doing is getting the two extended batteries and just completely replacing it with just those two extended batteries because that's really all I use. I mean, I've been running this system for uh, a couple of years now, and really that is my usage. So it would work perfectly fine. And it does a ton of solar in. So I've reconfigured some of my arrays to just bring in straight to the AFRI. So it's just, it's a solid unit. I really like this unit. Now, I don't want this to feel like a marketing video. So I'm going to talk about a couple of things that, not that I didn't like, but that could be improved. So AFRI, if you're watching, here we go. The first thing is, is it would be really, really nice if you could parallel two units for true 240. I've seen other companies that they either have it in the unit or they have a device where you plug it in and you have 240 out. That would have been really nice. I wouldn't have had to reconfigure my load center if that was the case. So even though this is a great unit, I would love to see that. So the next thing is their app. And their app is excellent, but everything could be improved. So one thing I didn't like is when you're charging, it'll show AC and the amount that's coming in. If you turn on and plug in solar panels, it'll show DC but it'll show the total. It won't show how much AC is coming in and how much solar is coming in. It won't separate them. It'll just give you a total. That's very, very minor, but uh, I got a nitpick here. I got to find something I didn't like. And now let's talk about that price again. It's the price of a budget model, but you get the quality, the features of an expensive model. It's hundreds of dollars cheaper than those, and it's the same price as budget stuff. And Homeowners, I've tested those budget ones. They're just, most of them are just junk. They fail. They're not worth it. They don't have the features. They don't have the power. They're just not even worth messing around with. So why would you even mess with it when for the same price you can get the AFRI? And why would you buy a premium model for hundreds of dollars less? You can get this that has all of the same features and the same power. And again, to you DIYers out there, why are you still doing DIY? If you buy the components, it's more than just buying this unit, and it's seamless, and it's nice. It just works. So look, there's other things that this unit does. I mean, it does DC. Of course, it didn't test any of that. So if anybody has any questions about something, please leave a comment below, because I was very focused on this specific project. I mean, it has a light in the back. I mean, there's all sorts of things that it does that are really cool that I didn't really talk about. I am now using this unit as my main source of power for my two buildings here. So the proof is in the pudding. This is what I am using now. Uh, it's just phenomenal. So that's all I got. Um, if anybody has any questions, comments, please leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Talk to everyone soon.